Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video you should be able to explain what's meant by first ionisation energy and by successive ionisation energies. OK, I'm showing you here an atom of the element magnesium. Magnesium has 12 protons in the nucleus. And as you can see, magnesium also has 12 electrons. There are two electrons in the first shell, eight electrons in the second shell, and two electrons in the third shell. Now, if I remove one electron from a magnesium atom, then I form a magnesium ion, and I'm showing you that here. As you can see, the ion we've made now has 11 electrons. Because we still have 12 protons in the nucleus, the ion has an overall single positive charge. Now, we can represent this as an equation, and I'm showing you that here. The magnesium ion is represented as Mg+, and the electron as E-. Now, to remove an electron from an atom requires energy, and this brings us to an important idea in chemistry. This is called the first ionisation energy. I'm showing you the definition of first ionisation energy here, and you do need to learn this definition. The first ionisation energy is the energy needed to remove one mole of electrons from one mole of atoms in their gaseous state to form one mole of one plus ions also in their gaseous state. Now this looks really tricky, but it's actually quite straightforward. Let's go back to our example of magnesium. I'm going to take one mole of magnesium atoms and convert them to a gas. This is what is meant by gaseous state. So I'm including the state symbol G, which means gas. I'm then going to take one electron from every atom to form one mole of one plus ions, also in their gaseous state. And the energy needed to do this is called the first ionisation energy. Coming up, we're going to look at what is meant by successive ionisation energies. OK, I'm showing you the magnesium atom again. As we saw, the first ionisation energy involves removing one mole of electrons from one mole of atoms in their gaseous state to form one mole of one plus ions, also in their gaseous state. Now, once we've removed one electron, we can continue to remove electrons and measure the ionisation energy each time. So I'm showing you here the removal of one more electron. The energy required to do this is called the second ionisation energy. I'm showing you the definition of second ionisation energy here. The second ionisation energy is the energy needed to remove one mole of electrons from one mole of one plus ions in their gaseous state to form one mole of two plus ions also in their gaseous state. Now you need to pay attention to the differences between this definition and the definition of first ionisation energy. In this case, we're removing one mole of electrons from one mole of one plus ions, not one mole of atoms. We're also making one mole of two plus ions. Now we can continue removing electrons and measuring the ionisation energy each time, and scientists call these successive ionisation energies. I'm showing you the equations for the third, fourth and fifth ionisation energies of magnesium here. Now it's easy to work out which ionisation energy is shown by an equation like this. The ionisation energy shown is the same as the charge on the ion produced. For example, the third ionisation energy produces an ion with a 3 plus charge. In the next video, we're going to look at what successive ionisation energies tell us about how electrons are arranged in atoms.